sacrifice. <laughs> What's up gamers, it's Gamer Extract here, and this is a, has been a highly requested video from you guys. Um, you guys wanted to know how to make do texture mods on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, some people were a little upset that the last mod video I made um, didn't actually mod anything, and it was more of a trainer. So this is an actual mod video. Um, you're going to have to have a little bit of knowledge with modding, but I'll try to keep things as simple as possible. Um, now, if you followed any of my other tutorials and downloaded any of the links I've provided, um, I have been looking at tutorials and stuff, and I didn't realize about this, but you need to upgrade or update your SD caffeine. So to do that, I will leave a link in the description, um, but you'll go into Wii U, apps SD caffeine and then you're gonna want these three files Let's see, I've already downloaded it it's give you 1.4 I will leave a way to download this version in the description but yeah all the other mods that I've been doing I've had 1.3 and that's why it's been so difficult for me because apparently this is a big update and it'll actually change how modding is done so if you want to be able to mod other games maybe keep 1.3 on hand um, if you want to keep that same way like the Super Smash Brothers for Wii U maybe keep 1.3 handy just kind of back that up um, if you want to mod that my Breath of the Wild 1.4 for this method that's what I'm gonna be using but and my SD card is currently in my Wii U right now I'm um, using a folder because I've backed up everything and I recommend you back things up too because one tiny mistake can cost you your entire mod and you'll have to start all over so this is perfect so what you're going to do is go into SD caffeine and then right here you're going to want to make this folder 00050001000 0000 c 9400 I'll leave the title in the description as well that way you can make the file and just copy and paste so if I'm to read this on the screen and then you're going to write mod pack 1 just like this capital M capital P let number 1 at the end and then you're going to make a content folder lower all lowercase and then you're going to want to make these three these are the three that I mainly use I haven't messed around with every, anything else, but if we're using the Linko mod, which we're going to be doing, this is what you're going to need. Just mainly these two. I, I use the sound one because I have a very strange mod that requires an extra sound pack. Um, but yeah, and then what you're going to want to do is, let's see, where's my Linko mod? Here it is. All of this is going to need to be in the model folder. So you're just going to want to take the model folder from that and just drag it over onto the content folder. And for me, it's probably, yeah, yeah replace files. And there we go. And then these are for a different mod. But all everything right here is the Linko mod. This is everything that you're going to need. And then the pack, you're going to want to make another folder for pack. And then you're going to want to put this pack in here. Um, I recommend downloading the Linko mod, which I'll also put in the description below, um, be because this has the most updated pack. So if you were to put this in here, then you'll have the most up-to-date pack, I'm, I'm pretty sure, because this, this uh, version that I'm using didn't come out too long ago, so this is a bigger Linko version. Um, and then if anything says it needs a sound pack, just use the sound pack in here. And that's all you're going to need for the SD card. So, we're, so remember, to change your SD caffeine 
is very important. So I will leave a link to my mega pack, my mega folder that I've been putting all my mods in. That way you'll have the most up to date SD pack. Um, except for the SD caffeine because I use that um, SD pack specifically for Smash Brothers mods so I don't want to ruin that. So I'll just leave a separate link to download SD caffeine in the description. Um, just update this and they'll work just fine. But yeah, we're going to move over to the Wii U and I'll be right back. Now we're over on the Wii U. Um, for this, for simplicity methods, reasons I mean, uh, I'm going to be using Hacks Chi. Um, if you want to learn how to get Hacks Chi on your Wii U, I'll leave a description uh, link in the description below. Um, or it'll also just show you a method for the browser hacks. Getting here with browser hacks works just fine, um, but I feel like it's a lot easier with Homebrew with the hacks G. Now, I don't think you have to do this, but this is what I do: is I first download the Mocha, and then I do SD Caffeine. I don't think you have to download Mocha, but it seemed to have worked every time. I used Mocha. So if you want to guarantee it'll work, um, just use Mocha. Alright, and remember, 1.4. It'll look like this. Um, the ones that you've done with my mod before have been 1.3. So make sure you upgrade this, otherwise, this will not work. I've learned this the hard way. It was very confusing with everything that I've looked up and then you actually wait about five or ten seconds I've, I've noticed and then open it up I don't know why but whenever I just rushed into it the mods didn't load up even though I had everything perfect um, but just make sure you wait just five or ten seconds before loading it up and then wait on the title screen make sure everything is loaded Otherwise, don't just rush into it. I can put the stylus away. Alright, continue. I'm just load up a random save. And just wait for it to load. And if it takes a while, a little while to load, then that, that is almost like a guarantee that it worked. Like, sometimes it'll take a little, it won't take too much longer than normal loading. But, it will take a little bit longer so just be, have a little bit more patience and most mod packs that you find um, you will it will pretty much give you the uh, necessary files to put in the description in the SD card sorry I can't talk today but it'll give you the necessary folders to put in your SD card um, but if you just looking to do Linkle just follow this, these steps and you'll be just fine. Alright, looks like it's just about done loading. And there we go. There's a couple of texture glitches, but if you wait around a little bit, um, it will correct itself. But, you got the sounds and everything. Well, yeah. There, see, there you go. Now it's normal Linkle. And before I let you go, I just wanted to kind of show you the funny mod I put in here, just for fun. Remember these guys? Gotta wait for their textures to load up again. But I got the Uganda Knuckles, because I thought it was hilarious. It replaces the chickens or goes, whatever. Yeah, these things take a little bit longer to load their textures. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't think I have any weapon mods. Um. Yeah, I don't have any actual weapon mods, but it does change some outfits. Like there's this. It comes with. That's not a headband. That's just glitchiness. Uh, if you want Link's normal hair on here, oh, th see there you go. If you want Link's normal hair, 
Just put on a headpiece, and it'll have Link's original hairstyle with Linkle, which I think looks adorable. Um, this one just kind of gives her a little, little hood. Yeah, um, if you want everything to load up properly, um, just kind of start opening um, random outfits. Uh, that way they all load up into the game. I see the Highland. Yeah, I have her original hood, but I don't know what outfit um, actually gives me um, the rest of her outfit. But, yep, everything works just fine. Got a nice little dress. Like I said, she also has her voice. Um, if the, let me know if you can't get this to work, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. But if you follow these steps, then I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. Um, and if you do make a mistake by, by adding a file uh, that doesn't work, just delete the entire thing and start from scratch. Because I, I tried to add uh, Bowser as a Hynix, and I added that, and, it did, and then everything didn't work at all. I deleted that mod, and everything still didn't work. So, just start from scratch if you still can't get it to work, and it'll work just fine. But... That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for all the rambling. But, yeah. You can play as Linkle. This should also work as Zelda. I have not tested it. But, it should work with Zelda or Waluigi if you want. Oh. Yeah, I also have a Co. It comes with the Linkle mod, so you don't have to worry about downloading it again. If you want the normal paraglider, just... Try to figure out which uh, mod changes out the paraglider and just delete it. I think it should still work just fine. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions for another mod video, just let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to try and make that mod video. I'm uh, sorry this took so long to make, but this isn't exactly easy to do. Um, also, a quick side note. Um, the frames will drop a little bit more than usual when doing mods. Um, but not too much to where it's super noticeable that it's a little bit more. But it still works. The mod still works. I haven't tested it with any kind of cutscenes or anything. So I don't know if it'll still work with cutscenes. Um, real quick, I want to see if I can dye my clothes. Uh, just want to see if I can dye them. You guys will be able to figure it out too without having to try yourself. Uh, die. Can I die these clothes? Uh, change color. Uh, uh, change clothes, okay. Um, maybe that, or. I don't know what to die. I don't know. I'll, f I'll figure out something else. Oh, yeah, this is also the Fierce Deity outfit. It changes her, too. Um, but, yeah, if you want to change her outfits, let me know if they work, because I tried changing her outfits, and it kind of glitched out on me. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching.